गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर टूडे सेशन होप यू ऑल रेड द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच ऑफ ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट विच वी डिस्कस्ड द प्रीवियस डे टूडे वी कैन डिस्कस द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी नाउ लिसन केयरफुली he narrates an incident in which a girl a lady a woman was talking to other woman to look at his face and she was uh, uh, telling that only a mother could love such a face and uh, he is so sad of uh, he is so sad when he narrates this that moment mr lamb is asking him whether he will believe each and everything that he hear and he is coming up with some example he says that there are bees in one part of my uh, garden and people used to say bees buzz but for me it is humming and humming is something related to singing so for me bees are not buzzing bees are singing so it is relative according to the person it hears you can take the positive side or either the negative side so in all these ways this uh, old man mr lamb was trying to help this boy to overcome his worst feelings and mr lamb is telling that people are afraid of you and uh, he narrates uh, uh, people are not afraid of you and he narrates a story in which he says that there was a man who was afraid of each and everything falling from somewhere uh stepping on to banana peels and falling from there so each and everything he was so afraid and finally what he did no he sat at his bedroom he locked his door and he decided to sat at his uh, bedroom he sat there and finally a picture from the wall fell on his head and he died so our mr lamb is trying to uh put forward or bring forth so many examples which can motivate this boy so there's uh, examples of uh, weeds the examples of uh, bees buzzing and the example of this uh, man this man is trying to motivate this boy using all these examples but are ready he is not ready to change at all he is telling that yes mr lam you are peculiar you are speaking in a peculiar way you are different from others but i am not ready to accept all these things and there it tells mr lamb that he is uh, he used to hear his parents talking from uh, downstairs that what this going boy is going to do what how he will live after us and all then mr lamb is telling boy you have two legs two hands two eyes two ears mouth everything just like a human being you have everything why can't you live why are you getting tensed about all those things you here you have all these things you can just live like a normal human being and mr lamb is telling him that you can be friendly with each and every person then there is telling that i have no friends no one is ready to get to be friendly with me so i have no friends and he is asking mr lamb whether he has any friends and mr lamb tells him that he has lot of friends whomever he know whoever uh, know him all those people are his friends all the people who comes and sit is in sit in his garden and uh, spends their time they are his friends then small small boys who comes to his garden to steal the crab apples they are also his friends and he tells that even you are my friend so there is telling you don't know me i'm a stranger i just came into your garden how can you call me as a friend so mr lamb is telling that to make someone your friend you need not collect all their address and all details you can make anyone your friend that you should take them as your friend that's all nothing else to make people your friends you just consider people as your friend and they will be your friend nothing else then derry is sharing his experience uh, when he was uh, uh, released from the hospital after his bond his face got burned and once he came to his house he heard someone talking like he should be kept at the hospital because he will be happy when he is among all those people all those injured people and he is uh, asking that uh, if uh, someone is blind will you leave uh, this blind people with all those blind people if someone has some disability means uh, you have to leave that person with that dis- disability so he is putting forward so many uh, queries like he is not at all happy with the people surrounding him because they don't like him he feels that they don't like him because his face is burned it's ugly then mr lamb says that 
children used to call him Lamy Lamb. But he never cares. The same children will come to his garden and will pick the uh, crab apples and go. He won't stop them too. Because he never cares what the people call him. All are his friends. Then Terry tells him that he wanted to go home and ask his permission, ask the permission from his mother to come back again. And once he came back, he will help Mr. Lamb to pick the crab apples. And he is telling that I am living very nearby, but my parents have no belief in me. They are not ready to send me here. They will definitely stop me. So uh, anyway, I will try to come back. And he leaves the place. He leaves the garden and he goes to his house. First scene ends with Mr. Lamb talking to himself that these people, people used to say that uh, they will come back. But once they went, they couldn't come back. Now, the chapter describes the second scene where our Derry is at his home. He is talking to his mother and he says his mother that he met Mr. Lamb and his mother is not at all happy with his particular meeting. And she stops him uh, by, she stops him to go there again. But he wanted to go back because he had promised Mr. Lamb that he will come back. And he is telling that I have heard what these people talks about him. I know him. I have talked with him. I know him very well. I am going back. And without listening to his mother, he is rushing back to our lamb. So he reaches back to Mr. Lamb's uh, garden once again. When he reaches there, he hears Mr. Lamb talking to him, picking apples and all. All of a sudden, he hears another voice, something falling down and uh, the ladder fell down. Then creaks of uh, this uh, trees and all. So all these sounds he hears and he runs fast and he sees that Mr. Lamb has fallen down from the ladder. He is lying down there quietly. He goes and tries to wake this man up and he understands that Mr. Lamb is dead. He becomes so sad. Maybe this is what Mr. Lamb said. These people will say that they will come back but they will never come back. So this is the chapter and this chapter now you understood what is the theme of the chapter. The appearances are deceptive. So Mr. Lamb he was a man with a tin leg. People used to call him Lammy Lamb but still he loved each and everyone. He considered each and everyone as his friends. He even allowed them to get into his garden and pick this uh, crab apples. He gave them the permission to sit in his garden. Even though these people mocked at him, made fun of him, he never cared. And our boy also, people used to speak about him behind him. He hears all these things. Maybe that is the reason for all these frustrations that piled up in his mind. So the appearances are deceptive and you can't judge a person from his external appearance. So I believe you understood the play. It's a little bit lengthy chapter read the chapter thoroughly and understand